So Paige, to start the show, do you have an interest in aquatic ecology? Well, of course, Jim. Everybody loves the study of underwater organisms, but few people love it as much as Dr. Michael Flynn. While biological sciences professor Dr. Michael Flynn is definitely interested in these underwater relationships, he also specializes in the fields of zoology and many other aquatic levels of biology. As a man who studies life forms living in water, the lakes near Murray are apparently a popular place for research. We asked Flynn if he had any interesting stories from his times at the lakes. The silver carp, one of the two species that has recently invaded the lake with, with decent numbers, it likes to jump in the boat with you when it's disturbed by the boat. So um, we haven't had it happen very often on Kentucky Lake, but we do some research up in the Clarks River by Paducah. And every single trip that we take out there, uh, there's some areas where you're just guaranteed, you sort of have to protect yourself with a Rubbermaid lid or a trash can lid because you'll be driving along and all of a sudden, you know, a 20 pound carp will jump into the boat. When it comes to teaching, Flynn tries to give each student the best grasp on the subject he teaches. However, aquatic ecology is not exactly the most easy thing to learn. Each professor has their own methods of instructing students. And Dr. Flynn has found a few specific ways to be the most successful. When I teach classes, um, I like to use examples, some, some kind of common examples, and even use video. There's, there's YouTube videos of everything. You know, you can use just small clips to sort of demonstrate it. But um, otherwise, there's things like the stream table that I'll show you today that do a good job of sort of simulating what happens in the natural world, but it happens at a much quicker pace. So we might be looking at, you know, hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands of years um, of basically the stream migrating back and forth across the stream table. You can see how the actual stream channel sort of evolves and how it moves back and forth, um, which is a natural process, and we see this in the natural world. And there's a couple of things that are really demonstrated really well on here, and that is, one, humans, we like to channelize things. We, we don't like rivers when they meander back and forth, because partly because we like to build you know, our houses next to them. And the natural process of the river is to sort of meander back and forth. This is, this is what rivers like to do. And when we straighten them, they want to go back to the form that they were. And this is, this is a great tool to sort of show the student, first of all, of what is actually happening. And then when they go out there in the field, they can sort of take a step back and say, oh, I can see some of these features that we talked about in lab. With most studies, one question is always apparent. What about after class? When it comes to aquatic biology, MSU students have an ambitious future to look forward to. I always try to fold into my teaching and my research some, some real uh, applicable skills. So things that they will actually use in their workforce or in a job that they're seeking afterwards. I always fold in something that they can apply to the research that they're doing and potentially use at a job further down the line. I had one graduate student, for example, who studied uh, crappie populations, the fish populations out in Kentucky Lake. He was able to gain some experience by helping the state out a little bit, our local, our regional office here, and then they hired him shortly as a creel clerk, and he's now gone on to look at for technician jobs, for example, in the future, so. It is always refreshing to hear good things about different educational fields of study here on Murray State's campus. Students can attest that Dr. Flynn is doing an excellent job.